Welcome to Eric Bunk's Vintage Sportsman. Well, folks, here we are driving up to our magic swamp to get us some fire starter. We're going to use some uh, birch bark, and it's a beautiful day. you got to find a nice swamp with some white birch trees, and it'll provide a nice fire starter. Better than newspaper, because newspaper isn't really that good, because it burns real fast, and it doesn't burn hot and long, and it's just... Uh, it just creates a lot of ash and things like that where uh, this this fire starter works really great I mean you'd be surprised it works even when it's wet which is phenomenal and uh, I just really like it and it works nice and it's a beautiful day to be outside I mean look at it it's gorgeous out you know you just uh, have a good time and just get in the outdoors and it just gives you something to do you know and uh, mother nature provides that's the main thing it's great to use something from nature great to use something I'm gonna enjoy the day We approach our swamp. It's just beautiful to be in the swamp. There's ducks, deer, rabbits, squirrels. I mean, the swamps really do provide. And uh, you'll find a lot of critters, including ticks. Ticks are everywhere. So we know that. But, uh, you know, the swamps, you get in there, you get rabbits in there and everything. But we're out here today just looking for some birch bark. Should be a lot of fun and uh, a little exercise. Okay, hey folks, here we are. We got ourselves some nice white birch here that's fallen down. Let's get us some fire starter. A trapper's basket and a draw knife. Let's take it and draw it off in pieces. Doesn't matter if it's wet, she'll come right off. Best fire starter you'll ever have is right here. Here we go, we'll get a good hot fire going. And that completes our journey into getting some good fire starter. Glad you can come along for the journey. Hello, welcome back. Today, this goal is the practical sportsman's corner. We, we try to get ideas and things to make your life a little bit easier organizing your sporting equipment. 
and different ideas that you can do in your home, uh, in your little sportsman's workshop or your own. So this today, what we're gonna do is we know that a lot of people like to film their own hunts. You always have a camera with you, you wanna take pictures and uh, of your hunts. And there's a lot of times you will have, you know, when, with this day and age with cell phones and everything, we have a lot of chargers and different batteries and cords and all these things. So what I found is going to my local ShopRite store, these little containers that you get from uh, takeout food from the local shop right by us, um, a lot of times you're saving them or just throwing them away. We had really no use for them for leftovers maybe. But for this, I've been storing all my camera equipment in and dividing it up into categories like this one here for my wireless mic. Then I have this for all my little mini tripod and cleaning equipment and uh, little cases. Actually, if you look in here, another little tip here is we have a bunch of things. We have mounts and things like that for your, your tripods and just all kinds of stuff. And what I use, if you get the little dental floss, the little dental picks, they give you this little plastic case. Now you can store your, your, uh, your SD cards in these instead of throwing them away when you're done. Um, this one's uh, yeah, a little snap, put it together, and you can put your cards in there. You don't lose your SD cards. And then you put them into this little case here and you can, you know, Put them together by category, you know, and just kind of keep everything, you know, with your trail cams. You can mark it on the top with, with a marker or something like that. And then one of the cameras that I had, I actually kept the original box that came with the camera. And I use that to keep the instructions in and all that, so that kind of helps out there. Then I have another one which I put uh, SD cards in and just divide everything up in the categories. And it makes it a little bit easier, so you know, kind of chargers and things. And there's one here. This actually was from a salad that I bought this afternoon. And you wash it out, and then I put my little uh, SD card adapter in there. And you can keep them all separate, and there's not all wires tangled up and everything like that, because that, that is a big pain. Wires tangled up is, is really a pain. And this one's a store-bought one. And this is a little bit larger, but this one stores my point-of-view camera, the little, uh, you know, it's like, I guess, a GoPro brand. Many different brands. This isn't a GoPro, but, you know, whatever, mounts and things like that. So, you know, you can take it, put a top on it, and, uh, you know, it stays pretty much, you know, not, not that it's a waterproof camera ready, but you can keep it, you know, throw it in your backpack and keep, keep the rain off of it even. You know, it comes in handy waterproofing things. So these are just a few tips just to make your life a little bit easier and to organize things so that you can even make a cabinet like we did in one of our other videos and you can make the cabinet to fit any of these items to stack them up. So there's your practical sportsman tip of the day and hope you enjoy and enjoy the woods and waters. Hello, welcome Eric Bunks, Vintage Sportsman. Today we're gonna to talk about women in the outdoors. Uh, it seems like lately more and more women are getting into the outdoors and that's a wonderful thing. So you guys out there, you know, you get your girlfriends or your wives out there and bring them into the outdoors, get them a nice light bow and uh, just, just get them something that they can shoot and enjoy and have fun with. If you get a, if you choose a recurve or a compound, go with a nice light weight and just do fun things like go out and small game hunters or stump shoot and, and bring them out doing things where they can have a good time because sometimes when you first start deer hunting may be a little intense for somebody starting out and uh, the girls out there, a lot of girls shoot bigger deer than guys. Girls shoot bigger deer than I do. <laughs> God bless them. I'm glad that they could do that. And there's some good hunters out there. And that's a wonderful thing. We want everybody to be out there in the woods and enjoying themselves. So next time, instead of leaving your wife or girlfriend home, bring her out into the woods and show her the great outdoors. God bless. Okay, folks, that's all for our show this week. Tune in again next time for another episode of Eric Bunk's Vintage Sportsman. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.